Welcome, everybody. How are we doing today? I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, wait for a couple more people to, to log on here. Good evening. Oh, I just got done with another sweaty piece, so I have to join you for some of it. We got some people logging on here. If you don't mind, let me know who's rocking with us here this afternoon, this evening, um, so I can tell you what's up. Hey, I got a couple good pieces for you. Um, this first one, I'm deathly afraid of, so it'll be it'll be an adventure with you guys today. Should be fun. Ni hao, Alan. Good to see you. That's right. Hopefully you got your water. I got a towel for this one because I'm going to be slipping and sliding around. Um, just a couple announcements here tonight on Zoom. Happy hour at 6.30. So that was a really good time last week. Um, we cracked a few open, told some jokes, told some tales. So it should be a good time. 6.30 tonight, so about 30 minutes. 40 minutes after this class gets done, depending on what time we get done, we'll log on to Zoom. We'll make sure that uh, that link is available for you uh, on the group Facebook page. Um, if you have trouble accessing it, just hit one of the coaches up and we can, hey, Katie, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll give you the link to that and you can you can jump right on. Okay, really super easy to get on. Uh, and these things have been a lot of fun. Um, tomorrow night, uh, if you can't make tonight, tomorrow night trivia. That's been, what's up, Cam? Yeah, for sure. Um, Tomorrow night trivia should be a good time. Uh, I'm switching my topic up. I've had sports the last two weeks. I'm going to take geography, uh, consider myself semi okay, well traveled. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to pop some geography ones in there for you tomorrow night on trivia. Should be a good time. Um, so moving forward today, what we have two parts. Uh, the first part: 200 jumping lunges. Yes, you heard that right. 200 jumping lunges, four time. Yeah. Fair enough, Roderick. Uh, 200 jumping lunges four time. Every time you break, you will owe a 20 second squat hold. Okay. Um, so that's just the bottom of your squat. You're holding heels on the ground, chest up, not just like hunched over gargoyle style. If you need a like the rig or some sort of chair for assistance to hold yourself up, that's going to be okay. Um, I'd rather see that than you all hunched over in your squat. Um, but 200 jumping lunges every time you break, 20 seconds of a squat hold. Okay. If that many jumping lunges aren't happening, uh, like I know Tracy, you might be in here. I know you, you've hit me up for some um, for some scales and stuff. Uh, you can go to mountain climbers, so hands on the ground, chopping the feet back and forth, knees back and forth uh, on that. That's fine. Um, but we're that's 400, not the uh, 200, right? So one, two, three, four. Every other would count. So you end up doing 400 instead of 200, right? Um, cool. So. That is part one. Part two, if we survive that somehow, part two is going to be 15-minute AMRAP, 20 ab mat sit-ups, 50 line hops, 20 glute bridges. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting one. Um, the sit-ups, I put ab mat just, be, just to kind of indicate what kind of sit-ups we were actually talking about. And I realize not everybody has an actual ab mat. I know I don't. Um, but that, uh, you know, feet butterfly style, reaching behind you, reaching in front, sitting all the way through to the front. That's the kind of sit up we're talking about. Okay. 50 line hops. So I think we only did this once last week, a couple times the week before, um, finding a line, just jumping back and forth. Every time your feet touch is going to be one rep and you're going till 50. So a quick set there. And then glute bridges. I'll show you how I want those done. This is not a movement that we do very often in a Metcon. Okay. We usually do that as more accessory work or strength work for adding uh, the barbell to it. Um, but we're doing it in the Metcon today, but I don't want you to rush those. Okay. Not, uh, not worth rushing. So you almost get, even though it burns and, you know, hard on the hamstrings and uh, butt, that's going to be a nice break as far as the, uh, as far as the, the lungs go for that. Yeah, Alan, good question. If you have a jump rope and you want to go ahead and make that double unders or single unders, you can do that. That's fine. Um, probably 35 double unders appropriate for this one and then 50 single unders or 50 line hops, right? So if you have a rope at home, I know this is the no equipment wad, but if you have one, you want to use it, by all means, go for it. Okay. Everybody uh, good with that? Any other questions? I'll wait for a second, see if you guys got any more questions past that. I'll take you through a little warm-up. Who else we got in here? Come on. All right. Let's set this up. Boom. All right. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to run on the clock here for our warm-up. First thing we're going to do is a knee pull or a knee hug. Okay, so what that looks like is here, flatten the back. Okay, you're just going to pull your knee into your chest, and we're going to hold that 20 seconds. 
So let's say we just started. I'm watching my clock over here on the floor. 20 second knee or knee hug, whatever you want to call it. Two, one, and release. Switching sides. Left side comes up now, pulling the knee to the chest. Here we go. Oh, get a little foot action in there. You're super flexible. Oh, nice little pull. Three, two, one. Release that. Good. Okay. We're going to go up and over with the legs, or you can go just knees. We're going to go 12 total, six on each side. I'll do knees. Uh, just loosening up low back a little bit. There's four for me, five for me, back and forth for 12. Oh, all right. Good stuff. Who's got something? Uh, good question, Cam. Stash is Taylor tolerated. I wouldn't say appro approved, but definitely tolerated, but I don't know for how much longer. Uh, could be a day before it's before it's gone. <laughs> Good question. All right, going down to the floor here. We're gonna go pigeon stretch. So laying across, uh, foot flat or sorry, leg flat. Going down here to either the hands or the elbows. We're gonna hold this 45. So let's say we started at 35, 135 on my clock. That means we're gonna take it what till 20. I don't know. I'm an idiot. I'll do the math. Pigeon getting deep up in there, getting ready for some heinous leg work. It's going to be nasty. Almost there. Three, two, one, and switch. Okay, what I want you guys to do, press back into a down dog position, then send your other side up to the front, lay it down, and here we are. Three, two, one, go. 45 second hold on the other side. Stuff, 15 seconds, almost there. Oh, three, two, one, beautiful. Okay, we're staying on the floor here. Check it out. Spider-Man, so kind of like World's Greatest Stretch, kind of like Runner's Mind, all right? You're gonna start in that down dog position. You can step up with the right, okay? If you wanna throw some circles in, you wanna do that World's Greatest Stretch, that's fine. I'm just gonna come up to one side, hold for a split second, back to down dog, and then my left side comes up, hold for a split second. I'm gonna do that four times on each side. Here we go. Oh yeah, feels good, all right. When you get done with the Spider-Man four and four, here we're gonna go flamingo four and four. So right hand, grab your right foot. If you need to hold the rig or the wall or whatever you have at home, a chair, that's fine. Same hand, same foot, reaching down. Touch the toe if you have the balance. March it forward or stay in place, I don't care. But we're doing four on the right, four on the left alternating. Nice balance. stuff. All right. Next up, we're going slow air squats. Okay. So take your normal air squat position. If you want to elevate the heels on at the ledge or I don't know what you got at home. Uh, if you have a plate, if you have a big yoga mat, whatever, I don't care for this one, but 
I'm going to go regular floor, slow air squat. So with a tempo here, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, knees tracking out over the pinky toes, hips back and down, taking your time getting down, taking your time standing up. Not really a pause in the bottom, a quick turnaround, but up and down, slow for eight. stuff. All right. Next up, I want you to find a rig, a chair. I'm going to use this fan. Okay. doesn't really matter what it is. Just a household item to kind of put your hands on it. Make sure you're not going to, um, you know, fall or collapse. That's going to be a rig squat hold. We'll call it rig squat hold 20 seconds. Stand up, shake it out. Maybe hit another flamingo and then another 20 second hold. Okay. So I'll have our timer here. Three, two, one. We're just holding. The first one, you guys can collapse a little bit. Drive the knees out over the toes if you want. Still holding on. The second one, we're going to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, like we're going to want during that part one of the jumping lunges. Shift back and forth here a little bit. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And stand. Shake it out. Walk around. Flamingo from those hip flexors if you want. We're going to do one more, and that holding here is going to be optional as long as it keeps, like I said, your chest up and everything stays tight, back flat, not collapsing that bend line. Okay, three, two, one, here we go, and hold. So this one's nice and tight. Almost there, three, two, one. Stand up, same thing, walk it around, get rid of these jumping lunges is going to be sit backs, okay, or side lunges. So take that wide stance, sitting back to one side, there's one, there's two, we're doing 12 total, six on each side. Here we go. Feels good. Shake it out. Stuff, guys. All right. Grab a drink. Oh, I've got some people in here now. 12. All right. Not bad, people. Not bad. Again, for anybody that was late to the party, I know we got a few more people here now. Uh, happy hour tonight on Zoom, 6.30. If you need that link, either go to the Waterside at Home Workouts Facebook page or hit one of the coaches up. We can provide that to you for sure before 6.30. And then same thing tomorrow night, trivia at 6.30. Uh, that's been fun every week we've done it so far. So uh, hop on that if you haven't yet. See some people. Talk about something other than CrossFit. Should be good. Okay. Going into part one here. Okay. 200 jumping lunges every time you break or you stop. Okay, you're, you're no longer working towards those jumping lunges. You will hold 20 seconds of a squat. Okay, so it's going to look like this. I'll just take you through kind of the, uh, the procedure, if you will. I'll take my little mat. If you guys have a pillow or something else that you'd like to protect your knees with, that's cool. It's going to look like this. Okay, so I'm down one, two, three, four, five. If I've chose to stop, I'm just going to hit 20 seconds in this holding position here, okay? What I want to avoid is, and it doesn't have to be A1 CrossFit HQ level one style where you're like, you know, super like this, right? But I don't see this number right here, okay? Where those elbows are, are holding your chest up and you're collapsing and you're not even, um, you're like your hips are way above your knees, anything like that. I still want you to attempt to give me a solid hold. If not, if that's impossible, what I want you to do is just like earlier, when I had that household item out, could be a chair, I'm using a fan, whatever. I'd rather see you grab onto that and stick pretty tight than to collapse that midline, right? 
So kind of decide early on if you're going to need that backup plan, which if you do is, is totally fine. Okay. Um, if you want to get your own clock going for your rest, that's cool. I will display my clock here so that you guys can see it and follow along with that if you need. Okay. I'll set it up here with a dumbbell and then we'll go. 200 for time. My best advice is start out hot, get a big chunk in there. Um, you know, the more you get at the beginning, you cut into it, the less you have to do later, right? And that's the freshest that you're going to be. Okay, you get through, you know, the first 50 to, to 75, you're going to be hurting. Okay, so you might as well go for a huge set at the beginning. Okay. Here we go. All right, 200 jumping lunges for time. Keep in mind, you can also go mountain climbers if you need to and make it 400. You can also go mountain climbers for those that didn't hear me earlier. Okay, so if that 200 jumping lunge is going to be too much on low back, knees, whatever, Go ahead and go mountain climbers. Here we go. I'm starting. We are going, guys, in 10 seconds. All right. Two, one. Here we go. trip so it needs to stop. I'm an idiot. Alright. First 20 second hold for me. I think I was about 48. Mm. Alright. On these holds when you're done, if you think you're gonna need more breaks, Take your break here, okay? No, no uh, penalty for breaking here, but there is for when you stop your lunges. So make sure you're good to go and start your next set, all right? I'm at 48. I'm not even to 100. I'm hurting. Woo! Wait a second. Oh. 88 for me. I don't know where you're at, but hopefully you guys are crushing it. Yeah, keep it up.
Man, some of y'all are probably crushing me on this. Keep it up, four and a half in on that 128. I think I can do it one more set. Got 32 left. Here we go. As you guys start to get done, just write it down in the comments, done, so I know we can move on when a majority of people are done, okay? Six minutes in, plenty of time. Though. Don't feel rushed, plenty of time to get this done. Whew, here we go, last set. man. Oh. Ow. When you do get done, I would suggest a quad hip flexor stretch like I'm doing right now. Okay, that one where we're leaning forward, stretching everything out, or perhaps that flamingo stretch you're in your garage or driveway or whatever, you can hit a set of butt kicks going down and back. That might be helpful as well. Okay. Oh. Good job, guys. Keep crushing it. I'll bring that clock a little closer so you guys can see it. Okay, we're right at eight minutes. Okay, right at eight. Plenty of time. Man, that was no joke. You can do all the squats you want, but nothing gives you that pump quite like, that leg pump quite like lunges, you know? Job, Katie. Nice work.
Brian just done, not even done with the workout, but done with the, the, the bullshit, I guess. Totally over it. Good job, man. Nice work. <laughs> Good job. About nine, 9.15 in. Woo. And when you're done, log that score into Box Tribe. We'll take a little break before we start part two. Get those quads nice and flushed out. Good job, Casey. Nice work. Nice, Macy. I'll give it a uh, till 11 here for people to get done done um, or at least till I start moving on talking about the next piece. If you're still working. Obviously, you're, you're free to keep working. <laughs> Alan, you ain't right. Thirty seconds till I start talking about the next piece. Good stuff. Ten. Uh. Good stuff, guys. Hey, if you're still working, no worries. Um, keep on going. I'm just going to move on and start talking about the uh, the next part of the workout since we do have a second part. Um, so good job on that. Again, if you're if you're sitting around standing, standing there waiting for me to go, I would hit some flamingo stretch. I would hit some lunge city. I would hit some uh, of that quad stretch. I was just doing maybe some butt kicks, something to help those quads and hip flexors out as we move on into the next part, especially since – we're going to be doing uh, sit-ups, and that's going to tear your, uh, tear your front side up as well. Yeah. You got it, John. Keep it up, buddy. All right, so the next part, 15-minute AMRAP. Okay, that means everybody's working for 15 minutes Okay, through 20 ab mat-style sit-ups. Again, I put sit-ups here, but on the on box tribe it was ab mat, just meaning um, that style. Okay, so 20 sit-ups, 50 line hops, 20 glute bridges. Okay, a couple things if you missed it earlier on the sit ups, sitting back, trying to touch your hands and shoulder blades in the back, sitting all the way through at the front, touching on the front side of your feet or ankles. Okay, and I'll demo that. Uh, 50 line hops every time you touch is going to be one. If you have a rope at home and the means to use it, that's cool. Let's keep it with 50 singles. Or if you're going to be uh, doing double unders, you're going to do, uh, God, I got hair everywhere, dog hair. Um, you're going to do 35 doubles. So anybody that's doing double unders, 35, single unders, 50, I'm going to be doing line hops, 50. So every time I touch is one. Okay. And then um, modification, like um, for what reason, injury or clarify that. Good job, John. waiting on Haley on the comments to get back to me uh, for glute bridges. Just some of you guys heard this earlier, but for glute bridges, um, that's not a movement we usually do in a Metcon. We usually do it as accessory work. So I don't want you to rush through it. There's a way to do it. Still getting after it, but uh, ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, let's do I'm trying to think of something that's cardio style, but up and down as well. Maybe you can either do, Cut it to 10 and eh, let's make it eight. Cut it to eight burpees, Haley, or you can go with 16 box step ups. Like if you have a chair and you want to do step ups to it, you can do that. So 16 box step ups or eight burpees. Um, on the glute bridges, again, I'll show you guys what I want here real quick. Um, we'll go through it. Okay. So first of all, sit back here on the sit ups. On the sit ups. If we can help it, we're going to sit 
Indian style here, where our feet are touching, knees up, all right? You're gonna sit back, shoulder blades and hands touch in the back, throwing them through to the front at the top, touching in front of the feet. Notice my shoulder is past my hip crease here. I'm not sitting back here and trying to touch. I'm sitting all the way through, okay? So I'll just do two more there, okay? If that's too much on this front side here, what you can also do is that gym class style, knees up, feet flat, sitting up, touching outside of your ankles, or even feet straight out in front, kind of like a pike style, feet together, toes pointed, reaching up toward your ankles up there. Okay, that's fine. But in the back, always shoulders touching, always hands touching, right? Um, on the glute bridges, while I'm here, for this one, because feet will be flat, you're gonna to try to make a straight line from knee through the hip, through the shoulder up top. You can have hands to the side, uh, sorry, to the extreme side or down to the front. Okay, just gonna look like this. Squeeze and back down. Squeeze and back down. Usually we do this sometimes like with a, with a barbell here and our back up against the plate and we're squeezing like that, holding for a couple of seconds. This one, no need to pause excessively at the top. It's just up and back down. Boom, right? Cool. And I won't make you look at me do those anymore because it's kind of awkward, all right? So line hops, again, just finding finding a line that you can alternate side to side on. One, two, three, four, five. Every time you touch is going to be one rep, okay? Um, if anybody else is in the same situation as Haley was talking about, uh, you got the neighbors, Mr. Heckles. You can't make noise or whatever. Um, you're going to go eight burpees. You step those down, step them up or jump, doesn't matter or 16 box or chair step ups, whatever you have at home, okay? I'll give you another minute for any questions I see pop up. Other than that, we're gonna roll 15 minute AMRAP. Dogs, man. All right, guys. So, again, one more look at it. Just put that in your mind. Burn it in there. 20, 20 50 line hops, 20 glute bridges. We are about to roll. Let me get my clock ready. Post it back up on this dumbbell so you guys can see it. All right. AMRAP. Whoops. AMRAP 15. Here we go. 10 seconds. In three, two, one, sit up. Here we go. You're doing double unders there, you're doing 35. Okay. These may have been the worst part. Getting that booty right. Come on now. Good job, Linda. Yeah. <sighs> 
Oh yeah. Here we go. Good job, guys. Lots of rounds on this one today. Lots of rounds. Just keep moving. You can go one foot with these if you're trying to get wild. It's a lot on each hamstring. Oh, jeez. Less than four minutes in. It's going to be a long one, guys. Settle in, baby. Abs and buns. That's what we're doing. That's what we're about today. How's my shirt already soaked? I don't understand. I'm gonna make these a little bit harder. You can walk your feet kind of in a little bit towards your butt, close to the arch of your butt. More range of motion you have to get that straight line going between knee, hip, and shoulder. Might be something fun to, to switch up round around. switch my feet up um, on these next two rounds just to, to keep it interesting here. I'm going to go gym class style with the feet on these sit-ups. See if it makes a difference. Easier, harder, whatever. I'm definitely scooting back more when I do that. Kind of annoying. Right, when I was doing sit-ups next, that'd be it. All right, I'm four down. We're about 7.15 left to go, almost halfway on the time. So kind of whatever you got this, during this first half, pick that number, try to stick to it in the second half, meaning keeping the same pace 
per round if you can. Okay. Five minutes left. Getting down that ladder. Come on now. Stay with it here. This is number six for me, not sure. Uh, about 315 left. I think for what, whatever I have left, I'm going to go straight leg sit ups just to switch it up some more. That's easy on the hip flexor for sure, but harder to get things going. Really good. Throw the hands to get going. That's annoying. Shoe sound, you guys. Problem solved here. All right, now.
Less than two minutes. Come on now. All right, minute 10 left, wherever you're at. Get after it here, last minute, come on. Come on, 30 seconds. Man, abs are feeling it. 20. I'm going to stand over here so I can count for you guys. She wrote, nice job. Hell yeah. Whew. A little 14 or 15 minute AMRAP right there. Hey, listen up. So, um, I mean, I'm definitely as sweaty as I ever get uh, in a workout there. But you might notice at the end of this workout, you're like, hey, I'm a little less out of breath than I am for most Metcons. Okay, today was on purpose a little bit. Uh, you know, in CrossFit, was earlier in my bonus video, I talked about, you know, CrossFit, we call it constantly varied functional movement, high intensity, right? Well, there's variance to that. No pun intended, because I know I just said varied. But um, so intensity not only means um, the rate with which you're moving and how hard you're moving, how hard the movements you are doing, out of breath, lungs, all that stuff, but also could mean amount of reps. So I would say the intensity on that workout was the whole day really part one and part two um came from volume right that's a ton of jumping lunges we did we did 200 for time that's a ton of sit-ups uh you know if you do five rounds that's that's 100 or more right so um our intensity for that one came from volume okay not necessarily um the speed with which we did the stuff okay so awesome job on that um take care of those abs okay if we're gonna hit um might want to hit like a little seal stretch or open it up top of the abs, bottom of the abs, and during that, you can shift forward left and right um, if you want to open up more or not uh, to one side or the other. Calves might need some taken care of. I know that was a lot of jumping lunges and a lot of um, line hops. So if you need to take care of the calves, get up against the wall, stretch the, uh, the calf out, right? You're leaning your chest towards the wall or you're bending that knee to the wall, okay, if you want more of a Achilles stretch. Uh, and then, obviously, your quads, what I would do is get up against a couch, hence the name couch stretch. Right, so that would look like I'll do it up against my uh, where is it that, that uh, sandbag over there, real quick. You could do this on your couch while you're watching TV, okay? While you're watching Ozark or whatever you're watching, okay? Foot up, okay? As if this is my couch, right? Got my foot hooked. I'm just chilling here. You can add a pillow underneath your knee or whatever, but just holding that like 80 seconds at a time on each side, okay? Letting it release, doing that a couple times tonight might be a good idea. I just started Ozark the other night. So that's why I said that. Um, yeah, thanks for working out with me, guys. That was a lot of fun. Um, tonight, happy hour. So if you're logging on, hit that Zoom link. Um, if you need it, either text me or hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. I can give it to you. If you can't find it in the uh, Waterside at Home Workouts group, tomorrow night, trivia. So we're getting after that. Um, those of you that are well-traveled, I'm hitting the geography category. So you better come correct if you want to answer my questions. Um, but yeah. Hit me up again if you uh, if you need anything. Let me know. Um, appreciate you guys working out with me. Peace.